conquer yourself and the world lies at your feet. I met this guy the other day and he had been hooked on prescription pain pills for 50 years. And just this summer, he stopped. So at a time when a lot of people are thinking about the end of their life, he found a new beginning. But you can't get out of that kind of lifestyle without a few scars. And that's what he's coming to me to help him work through. I had this other patient. She was sexually abused as a child for several years before being rescued. Now surprisingly, she held no hatred in her heart, but instead she accepted her life for what it was and she took the necessary steps to protect her own children. I had this patient that lived in her car. I mean, she, she would make enough money for drugs by you know doing basically the only thing she thought she could do. And she would do that and just kind of survive. But sometimes surviving is not the same thing as living. And eventually her path took her in a new route. She decided to change. She decided to save herself. And in saving herself, she saved the life of her child. I had this friend that was diagnosed with cancer when he was a kid. But he fought it and he survived. And now he helps other people. He helps other people with kind of that, that, that going through the same thing. He gives them hope. He teaches them lessons that he's learned from that battlefield of illness. Now these stories, they're just snapshots of a world in transition, a world that's corrupted but reborn. It's a myth that runs so deep in our core and provides a fountain of potential. I give these examples to provide perspective, to add some cold, hard reality to my optimistic rants. Because to some people, there's no end in sight to their pain. The world just keeps crashing down over and over and over. Hell keeps getting deeper. Look, I wish I had an easy answer, you know, words of inspiration, words of hope. But life doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes it feels like there's no one to carry you out of hell and you have to crawl out yourself. But maybe that's not really the case. Maybe there is someone that walks with you, someone that knows just what you're going through. You know, people in AA, they call this their higher power. I call him God. But if those words scare you, it's okay. I understand because they scare me too that doesn't make it any less real. But I wasn't trying to talk about all that and get sidetracked on some deep religious philosophy, spiritual guidance. But maybe I should, because sometimes that's what people are lacking. But what I really wanted to talk about today was not that. I wanted to talk about choices. Because life is full of choices. There isn't always a great choice. Sometimes the cure seems no better than the poison. And you see, it's, it's not about what's fair. Life isn't fair. Life just is. Your choices are what decides the life you live. Because your choices are your freedom. There's this quote by Fyodor Dostoevsky that I really like. It says, to go wrong in one's own way is better than to go right in someone else's. Look, even when there are no good options, there are always choices that can make your life worse. So don't choose those. Look, here's what I'd recommend. Start small. Don't worry about perfection. If you stack enough, not great choices, but they're not really bad choices either, you stack these things together, slowly things start to look better. Look, if you live in your car, but you're able to save $5 a week, then eventually you're gonna have enough money to get a room. 
If you're able to have a conversation with a person, then eventually you'll be able to have a friendship. If you're able to help some old woman cross the street, then eventually you're going to be useful enough to get a job, a good job. If you're able to have a day that you can laugh a few times, then eventually you're going to have a day that you laugh more than you cry. If you're able to forgive your kids, then eventually your kids will be able to forgive you. If you're able to stay clean for a day, then eventually you'll be able to stay clean for a year. When you look around and all you see is pain, stop worrying about who's to blame. Start figuring a way out. And if out seems too far away, just take a small step in the right direction. And tomorrow, take another small step. And after a thousand steps, I promise you're going to be in a better place.